Hello and welcome back to another shave video with me, The Suffolk Shaver. Thanks for joining me. Um, today is Tuesday. So what do people normally use on a Tuesday for shave? Tobac Tuesday. Never done a Tobac Tuesday, so that's what I'm going to be using. Uh, the brush I'm going to be using is the Mervyn Cadman. That's the stubby, chubby, tubby, whatever he calls it. Um, Guinness handle with uh, it's a 28 or a 30 mil silver tip knot already loaded. Hopefully, got enough in there. Razor I'm going to be using is um, one of the razors I pulled out Sunday for the live shave, uh, but wasn't chosen. It's the uh, R89. Normally, I've got the uh, the Grande handle. The, thicker, heavier, longer handle. But, uh, I've not tried it with the, the normal handle. This is the handle that came with uh, my R41. The blade I've got in there is uh, Gillette Wilkinson. Comes in a wax, wax paper like that and that's the box. Saloon pack. So, it's a, a brand new blade in there. Uh, I'm going to be, because my neck is playing up here, you can see it's already a little bit red. It's like what comes first, chicken or the egg. In my case, it's which comes first, the sore neck or the shave that caused the sore neck. <laughs> so I'm going to be putting on some of the uh, shave oil. This has got uh, menthol in there. So I'll uh, apply that first. Post shave is not going to be an Allen block today. I'm going to use a uh, witch hazel. Um, after shave, because it's tobacco, tobacco kind of scent. Got a uh, fine clean vetiver, which is vetiver and tobacco. I think that's everything. Oh, um, the balm. Bomb's going to be a uh, Nivea sensitive. This is the cooling, and this one's got seaweed extract and chamomile. Not used a Nivea for a while. I've got the towel tucked to me trouser pocket because I'm running out of space here. So thanks very much to uh, everybody that. Uh, Found the time Sunday to join in on the live shave. I'm sort of a little bit on edge. I'm sort of excited and uh, doing talking to chaps, but uh, not knowing who's turning up. See this uh, oil will give me a little bit more protection and uh, soften up the beard as well. And not just thank you to uh, those that turned up live, but um, if you couldn't turn up live and you watch it back at a later date, then I appreciate that. As Sledhead says, I appreciate it. So that's that, I'm just wiping my hand on the towel. And then we'll get the lather up. I've got another thank you as well, but uh, I think I'll save that to the end. Just add a little bit of water to aid the lathering process. So hopefully you've had a good start to your week. It's the end of January, pretty much. Where's that month gone? If you've 
uh, seen me use this uh, brush in the past. Um, you would have seen I've had to go back to the tub. I actually pulled out my lather and bowl, but uh, I'll see how we get on with this today. Hopefully I've uh, overloaded the brush so I've got enough for three passes. Plus something else will help me is the uh, slick this from this sink. It's the soap I got in the trade. Um, Got it in these little tubs you would have seen in the uh, soap and cream dentor. Very handy. That's the uh, tobacco shave stick, I believe. It was pressed down in another <coughs> plastic container. That's too small, I can load the brush from it. I've got a couple of things in the work, so hopefully uh, we'll have a good luck with that, or those, and I'll tell you more about those in a future video. I don't want to say too much now, just in case uh, we get a hiccup. Oh my luck, something will go wrong, but fingers crossed it won't. Right, we'll go with that. That noise you just heard was uh, an air freshener we've got in here. Normally I remove it from the bathroom so we don't get that sound, but I've forgotten. Never mind. Right, let's try the uh, Mule R89, the standard handle. And so it's a lighter handle than the Grande handle, so uh, it'll be a little bit sort of uh, top heavy. And Sunday shave was all right, but I wasn't completely happy with it. I didn't go against the grain. I've done a couple across the grain. Um, so it wasn't as close as I would normally have it. I don't think the blade gave a, a good shave either. Uh, I've, uh, I've still got the blade, the uh, perm sharp. I'm going to have to look, look under the uh, jeweler's loop, have a closer look at it. Yeah. 
Good audio feedback. Perhaps I should have put some shave oil on my nose as well. had a fit this morning. She, um, not an actual fit, um, but um, a couple of weeks ago we had a letter through saying that uh, the waterworks people in this area um, will be working in this area on Monday. But, uh, we had Water is normal on Monday. I didn't turn it off. Um, and the wife got up early to, this morning to get ready for work. And she turned the tap on and it blew out of the tap. And I don't know if it was the muck from inside the, the water system or because uh, she normally has a coffee in here. force of the water coming out of the tap. She said it was the coffee, went everywhere but of course that new bathroom that stained all the white uh, grout in between the tiles. I tried to get it out myself with a cream cleaner, that didn't work, so she came home and uh, she had a gap in her schedule, so she came home and got some bleach out, so it stinks of bleach in here at the moment. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's not good past that, nice and smooth, skin's nice and smooth. I saw that out with a stip tick and also get some fresh water, so I'll see you in a second. Okay, we're back. We've got fresh water and we're blood free. Just to uh, wet the face again. Only got plenty here for past two. So you got to look after the different types of brushes differently. With the badge, you got to soak it and then uh, wring all the water out. And then uh, load the brush. And then just dip the tips. Just to help load the brush more. The ball you just uh, leave half, half the water in after you've soaked it. And again, load heavy. Can't remember what I've done with the horse on last Sunday, horse brush. I think I squeezed it all out and then like I did a like I do a badger. Squeeze all the water out and then add accordingly as you go, as you're building the lather up. And synthetics you don't have to worry about at all, just Dip and dip and go. And again, soaps. I used a PAA the other day. 
off camera. Just uh, load the brush for 10 seconds, that was plenty for three passes. Second pass, cross screen. I like how efficient this razor is. It's not aggressive. It's not mild. It's just right. Get good uh, audio feedback too. An issue I've got with this razor is the corners. The corners here are quite sharp. You see that there? And uh, hello to any new subscribers. Hope you uh, enjoy the content on my channel. And obviously, thank you for subscribing in the first place. It doesn't matter if I'm using a mild razor or an aggressive razor. And what you do is you have a not so close shave just to save your skin or Do you just shave the way you want to shave? See if we've got enough for third pass. This is a tobacco flower scent. It's a soap. It's not a strong scent, I would say. Sort of on the sort of a powdery scent. It's 
to a forward say shrink point. With the badger the soap doesn't come off the top of the brush, it comes out the sides. So when I'm backwards and forwards, it's going into the knot and coming out the bottom of the knot, which is called a flow through. That's why when you saw, when I started lathering my face this time, it wasn't coming out easily because it was working its way down the brush or the knot. My uh, last video last week, not the um, July one, the one before. There's a few people that were concerned about my neck. Don't worry. That's what uh, that's what happens to my neck this time of the year. Doesn't matter what I do. So it's not uncomfortable. It just shows up worse on camera than that actually is. Not every shave is going to be perfect. I watch other people who uh, shave on YouTube and they've got the same issues. Not everyone, but some. This rose is a bit like the Parker, though it's, you know, it's, um, you get the sound, the audio feedback. So you know it's doing its job and you don't have to, once you've been over it once, you don't have to go over it again. And I uh, put this razor in um, a category of between sort of beginner and uh, intermediate. So if it was me, or the razor, or the blade, my whole face would be 
flaring up, but it's just um, just around here. I don't know why. I may use the same combo like during the summertime and uh, whisking will be fine. So that's as far as I'm going to go. That's close enough. My skin feel nice and moisturised, nice and soft. So it's not sore. So. Right, I'll just pause here and uh, I'll rinse the face and uh, get some fresh water. Hold on. Okay, I've rinsed off and uh, got some fresh water. I'm just gonna take out what's left and not. There's still a little bit of water left in the, uh, the middle there. I squeezed it all out and uh, shook it. Put a little bit of um, styptic on so you may see the lather dissipate. I thought I'd rinsed it off, but not well enough. Whilst I was off camera though, I just remembered that I used um, last year on my neck, Sudocrem. If, uh, if you go back that far in my videos, you'll see that. Oh, I mentioned that anyway. I don't think I've done it on camera. Sort of a, it's a cream that sort of heals skin. Apply some thayers, lemon this one. Now those that uh, make YouTube videos, some might not show it, some might show it more than others, but uh, we're under sort of a little bit of pressure. So if you were doing a shave on camera for you guys. And uh, you know, having issues like this sort of adds to it. So when people comment, I know you're, it's in the best interest, but uh, it sort of adds to it, if you see what I mean. So uh, let's go for the stars of the shave whilst these layers dry off. It's the uh, Mool 89. This sort of Edwin Jagger style head, but uh, to me and a few other wet shavers, this is a more efficient head for some reason. We don't know why. On the, um, the standard mule handle, which was off my uh, R41, and that's with the Gillette Wilkinson Slim Pack blade. Soap was tobacco, a show stick pressed into a tub. Uh, 
was we got a brush, which was the Mervyn Cadman Guinness Tubby Stubby uh, handle with the 28mm, I think. I don't think it's a 30. 28mm, um, unless you tell me otherwise, Dwayne. Uh, silver tip badger knot. And before that, I used the uh, shaven oil just to give the skin a layer of extra protection, but uh, may have, um, I may have to reapply every before every pass. Try that next time. Uh, what else? Yeah, the sayers. And uh, off screen, I used the. Uh, this is the Murray's styptic pencil. And I'll apply some fine. This is the old one. I think that's now the green vetiver, not clean vetiver. And I think the uh, shape of the bottles have changed again. Nice old nose. Always get a burn from this. Yeah. Very minimal uh, ingredients on in this. Let me show you there. Oh, it's on the front actually. Easier to see. Contains only alcohol, water, fragrance and menthol. And then the last step, Nivea Sensitive Cooling. Can't remember the last time we used a Nivea bar. Obviously there's no restrictor on the top there, so again like I do in my aftershaves, apply the fingertip over the end so it reduces the size of the hole. So you don't lose too much. You only need a little of this. I think that's the last shave for uh, January, I think. Next show will be in February. Where's the time going, eh? So yeah, that's it. So, uh, oh yeah, a little thing I uh, promised you at the beginning of the video. I've got uh, a little mail call from uh, Neil Sanford. So thank you very much, Neil, if you're watching this. Um, he sent me an email to my Suffolk Shaver email and he said he was putting a lot of his soaps on eBay to sell and uh, would I like to have some samples from them before you know, they sell? So I said yeah and I gave him a couple of artists and names that he had and uh, yeah I received them yesterday. He sent me a nice little letter or note in there too. So thank you Neil. And I said to him I was interested in um, trying Holy Core and Holy Cow, as we know it's called now, <laughs> and uh, Tallow and Steel. So I uh, said, yeah, I can do that for you. And uh, as I said, they came yesterday. And they're all professionally wrapped, shall I say. They're well wrapped. Uh, they might not be in order, but uh, Holy Cow, King of Ood. Spencer used this in a video recently. Holy cow, merchant of tobacco. Do that one in a minute because it's a different one. And that one. That's just falling on the floor, thank you very much. Holy cow, it's a Fugier bouquet, special edition. And the last holy cow. Holy Cow Project Leather. 
And the tallow and steel ones are Maya. I've dropped another one. Butterfingers today. Tallow and steel, Morocco. That one. Boreal. Or Boreal, however you say it. West Indies. And the one that's on the floor. What is that one? And that one's Tallow and Steel Himalaya. So uh, thanks again, Neil. Very much looking forward to uh, going through that pot. Uh, I'm going to have to do another month of samples, I think. So I've got definitely got a month's worth there. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for your likes. Thanks for your comments. Any questions, leave them in the comments box below. Or do as Neil did and send me an email at thesuffolkshaver at gmail.com. Have some great shaves. Have a great week. And uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed so far and this is the first video you've seen, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications for future videos and uh, I'll see you at the end of the week for another shave. Cheers. Bye. Yeah.